Okay, we are here. First match. Uh, we got RBC versus Divine. Alright, not too familiar oh, with either sorry. of these players. Alright, <laughs> right, we'll start. Start. Restart, restart, guys. Uh, yeah, <laughs> restart. There we go. Yeah, okay, we got a control thing. Alright. We got Big Rig and Ray on the microphone. Uh, match one. Um, you know, round one. Oh. Uh, Patrick and Divine going at it. Patrick plays a very uh, defensive Lucario, as what I've noticed. Um, you know, at the edge. I know, but it's, it's hard being so far away. It's hard being so close. I wish, I wish it could be a lot away. Right, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, um, played against uh, Patrick for the first time on Thursday. Um, yeah, definitely saw a lot of uh, defensive options coming from him. Um, so, which is really good for Lucario, because if you can live a really long time, then that's, uh, you're basically golden, so. Yeah, I mean, if you can live at those high points, you have four up plus rates, it's just a devastating combination, because you have more damage output and more not back output. <laughs> it's just, I mean, if you leave Lucario at like 150, which he can survive because he's a surprisingly heavy character. Really heavy. Um, Three, two, one, that, that could be a lot of stock. Never mind though, he's switching to Yoshi. He, he pulled that out against me a couple, uh, actually just last night I played as Yoshi for the first time. Um, uh, you know, what I noticed is he, he goes for a lot more grabs than a lot of the Yoshis I see. Um, there's a lot of leg on his grab, and that's why a lot of Yoshis don't use him. But like, if you can get grabbed, you can set up so many different types of combos as he tried to go right there for Right, Yoshi's grab game is not very good, but grab game for the fight is just super important, so definitely a good thing to use all your tools, even if they're not optimal. Nice nerf to prevent the, the down or off stage. Uh, Yoshi has one of those things, of course, we call a sex kick, where he just kind of throws out his feet uh, as his nair, very similar to Mario and Luigi's. And it, it, it has just so much, uh, you know, resilience, so that it can prevent a lot of moves from hitting it, or it can just create a train situation. Yoshi's nair is just ridiculous. It, like, <laughs> it hits way far behind it. Like, it's basically got like oh, a... Oh, nice spike! Good execution there. I... Wow! He was coming back from uh, recovery, and yet he still decided to go for the for the fair. He looked down his face and kind of up to to try and challenge him. Ooh, nice Raptor boost off stage to recover. He's gonna have to try to uh, finish off his stock as soon as possible. Right, nice little jab combo. Oh, fair finishes it off. <laughs> A little bit of delay here. We can hear the reaction before we see it. So <laughs> we knew something was gonna happen. Yeah, this is kind of a janky setup right now, but we'll get things a lot more clean and fresh by the next tournament. This is really more of an experimental phase right now. Yeah, sure. That's why I decided to uh, get on commentary for the first time, actually. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not even being streamed, it's just being recorded right, right. So no, no pressure in the situation. It's a good place to start. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, Divine's playing Falcon now. Um, when I saw him last, which was a very long time ago, he was playing Fox. Yep. And uh, utilized a lot of uh, that old jab, or jab, jab, to jab, to jab, so on. The jab lock? Yeah. Which got taken out of Fox's arsenal now. He's a lot more limited with his. Uh, okay, we're here right now. That's the biggest reason he's not playing Fox is because of his, uh, his jab block got taken out with one of the new updates. Which could be the you know, death state up smashes out of jab jab, jab jab, jab jab, jab, up smash. It was absolutely ridiculous to have to fight against in my opinion. Yeah, and definitely a terrible thing for characters that can't get out of it, like the um, <laughs> There's a lot of things that are terrible for me too, but that's a lot of things. discussion for a different day. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Falcon also having a very, very good um, Wow, just a rock. Forward smash to punish the other forward smash. Game one will go to Divine. I'm sorry, not Divine. That will go to Patrick. My beat. Um, so with with Captain Falcon. No, I think Captain Falcon for stage selection. He's, he's going to want to go with. Uh, he, he gets a lot of control on both final destination and um, battlefield. Just just the way the platforms work. So those are two stages going to for. Never mind. Probably as Captain Falcon going against Lucario, you probably don't want to go that final destination. The same with Link. Ooh. Man. Rob Patrick has an arsenal of kids. Yeah. Was going with the king. 
please. Oh my god, I haven't seen a King DDD since my own uh, old partner stuff. Let's go please. random. I want to see random. I, yeah, that'd be uh, interesting <laughs> to, to see. I mean, he could get anything from Luigi to Mewtwo, you know? There's a whole <laughs> wide range of characters you can uh, result in. Sounds like there's a lot of deliberation going on. Hopefully they pick their stage first, as they're supposed yeah. to. Otherwise maybe that's why they just kind of went to a random character, because maybe they're going to double blind them. No! I think we might be going straight in. They might be looking at stages. No, we're not. Never mind. <laughs> I take that back. Yes, Dreamland is legal. Uh, unfortunately, Dreamland is a stage. <laughs> I'm actually not getting uh, feedback from that, so I should just take that off. Uh, okay. Yeah, using a new um, paired down stage list this time. Yeah, we're going by Minnesota Smash LL rule set, which is a bit different than uh, what a lot of the country is following right now. But actually, Joshua Marco, who is the head heel of Minnesota, is actually um, one of the big wigs when it comes to deciding uh, rule sets for the entire nation, actually. He, he, he's, at, as much as he doesn't want to be, He's one of the biggest figureheads for the meta right now in the country. Well, I am all for less stages. I think they get in the way. So. You don't like the random uh, factors with uh, Halberd Jank and all that? I'm glad Halberd's gone. I hope it stays there. Alright, so it looks like we decided on the link. Yeah, which, if, from what I remember from my link main days, this is a horrible, horrible matchup. So. <laughs> well, you're gonna you're gonna be seeing a lot of walling out tactics because like 50 percent of the time this stage becomes final destination, and um, Cat Falcon's gonna have to try to find a way to get in and get those grabs. Uh, I think right now this is kind of advantageous for Link because there's a lot of ways that Link can kill off the top. I mean, Cat Falcon can also kill off the top of up airs, but this is uh, really Link's stage to be doing that. Way. The thing about Captain Falcon is he is a master zone breaker, so zoners have a very difficult time against him unless they are playing absolutely on point. As you can see here, he is getting in. Ooh, very good job there by Patrick by covering all the ledge options. You saw that your rapper boost is really high and he identified that. I think pretty much on reaction was able to uh, get a punish on that. Wow, nice down tilt there, and that's going to finish off uh, his stock because he doesn't have any bomb with the pressure there to uh, execute any bomb tech. Yeah, semi spikes are tough for Link to deal with, but almost anything else is going to recover. Ooh, he's going for the zero stage, and ooh, very nice. It looks like he actually hit the stage, so that resulted in a stage spike right there. There is super good for edge guarding, but not too many people. Even with the leg being hit being punishable? Oh, it's not punishable if you use it right. You yeah. have to jump full hop off the stitch into a dare and then... And then the landing leg, or the ending leg will... It'll be gone. Yeah. 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 And speaking to you, I just kind of go to attack all around that, so... <laughs> I don't give a crap. But yeah, with Falcon, who doesn't have, you know, the most options with his recovery. Um, yeah, that's something that Link can definitely use to finish off another stock. If it can pull it off, that is. Okay, alright. We're getting a lot of aerial pressure there by, uh... By Divine. Somebody almost called a stretcher. <laughs> alright. Oh! Very, very close. Good safe space by both of them. Not take any damage from each other. Now the bomb. Raptor boost up. Counted cities, uh, so it's not enough. I think it's very, very heavy, especially on the top. So he's a little elf boy, but I mean, he's got a, he's packing on the pounds. He's worked out. He's gotta carry that weight. He also has all of those uh, items with him as well. Oh, misses the edge guard. The grab miss is gonna result in a forward smash, and we're taking this to game three, everyone. Captain Falcon! All right. All right. Duck Hunt got banned and Final Destination got banned. So, where is Link going to want to go? If he's going to stay Link, that is. I am expecting a character change, and it looks like he's considering that. Can you can you tell him that calling out a match with Duncan? You know, I, I might just have to leave. Who am I against? You? 
Yeah, I got called out. So I'm gonna leave game three, unfortunately. If somebody else wants to hop on, if you want to go solo, be I my guest. I to go solo. Are you, <laughs> By all means, it's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> We're, uh, we're only recording, we're not streaming, so it's basically just practice. Alright. Alright, Fawn's on the mic here. Alright, so we got the brothers on the mic for the first time. Yeah. Both of us, I believe, unless you have some experience. I have no experience. Alright, um, well, one of us has to be play-by-play, -play, and one of us has to be the color commentator. I'm gonna leave play by play to you. I'm not smart. Okay. You're doing play by play. Not smart is exactly what we need for play by play. You just need to say things yes. before you even. I'm, I can do that. All right, excellent. Um, <laughs> all right, so that'll be great when Big Rig uh, watches the uh, replay. Three, three, two, two, but, uh, all right, so this is game three. Um, the last game was won by Divine, who is the Falcon. Um, it looks like. Uh, Patrick has gone back to Yoshi, which he won game one with. He won game one on Everse, and we are actually on Battlefield. I'm not sure what Dave's going to to say about that, but either way, it's gentlemen. So, uh, you know, we're not going to stop the match because of that, so. Alright, They agreed, apparently, so. Alright, we're going to so Looks like Falcon might be. Oh, a lot of shield pressure there. Characters very difficult to punish. Not a lot of speed on startup, but end lag is just basically not existent for either of them. It's very frustrating. Hence why they're pretty popular on Pokemon. Yoshi very, very hard to get. Just absolutely just devastating the face. And it looks like he made it back safe. Well, Yoshi's disadvantage is very, very good. Oh, that was almost a shield break, sponsored by MMs. Oh, I got the back air to finish off the snog and almost 170. Yoshi is I'm apparently in the top 10 heaviest. Yeah, and Captain Falcon's just outside, so two characters that are way too fast for their heaviness. And, you know, um, <laughs> all right. Sometimes life is fair. You two know. Fine, racking up a lot of extra credit. Yoshi having a bit of trouble killing, just as general as a character with no grab setups and no really safe kill moves, although his smashes are pretty good. There's an upper. That is a good offstage here. Yoshi's upper can really come out of nowhere with his speed. Uh, it kills similarly to Mario's, but even better. Well, much better than Mario's, I would say, but maybe more along the lines of Falcon. Oh, it's left. Yeah, it's very difficult to hit. Otherwise, you should be closing out stocks with Mario Linder, and that would be really nice. Ooh, almost got that knee when I ended this set. Oh, nice up track. Oh, nice up track. Nice up Patrick's been definitely winning the neutral here. Sloan totally clawing his way back. Wow. Might have to watch out for a kill if his percent get much higher. Yeah. Got some real boys going on here. Holy. Oh. Oh. You know, I think that jab could have killed if uh, the real boys situation had gone differently. Egg. 
Very close there. This is very intense. This is going to be next game. It looks like that's going to be Divine taking game three. Good job, guys. Oh,